Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepad at gmail.com. You can download ibridgepad at www.ibridgepad.com. This video is going to talk about download and set ibridgepad up for Windows users. This is one of ibridgepad tutorials video series. In this video, I will talk about these steps to set up iBridgePy for Windows users. First, you need to install Anaconda Python. The reason we recommend Anaconda Python is Anaconda, when you download Anaconda Python package, it will download all of the packages that are needed for iBridgePy. So you don't need to download those packages by yourself. Other than that, there are a lot of very useful packages. You can use them directly. You don't need to download them anymore. Then, you need to go to ibridgepad.com to download ibridgepad package, which is a zip file. After you download the zip file, you need to unzip it anywhere in your local computer in your local disk then you can open spider from anaconda navigator in spider you can open romy.py which is the entrance of average pi package if you have set up average pi tws or ib gateway you will be able to trade with interactive brokers but the tutorial about setup i IBTWS or IB Gateway will be in another tutorial video. Let's show me every step from the beginning. First step, install Anaconda Python. Let's go to Anaconda package. This is the official website of Anaconda. Then you scroll down to Anaconda distribution, click download now. For Windows users, you can click Windows and there are two options. One is Python 3.7 and the Python 2.7 version. Because Python 2.7 is going to be deprecated very soon and is not supported anymore in the near future. So we recommend Python 3.7 version and you can click download. It will download 64-bit packages. We don't recommend 32-bit anymore actually. You can click download and then you can save it anywhere you want for example you can go to downloads to download it there then click save i already downloaded it to my local so i won't click save at this moment in the demo i just click cancel then you can go to where you download it and double click it to install it. This is the Anaconda 3.7. You can double click it and just follow the normal setup. Just me like, like this. And use the default setting. Click next. Then it will install Anaconda to your logo. In this video, I want to demo it, so I just click cancel at this moment. Then the next step is to download iBridgePy from iBridgePy.com. Let's go to www.iBridgePy.com. Then Go to download iBridgePy here. 
If you don't have an account, you can click here to register. I will just log in at this moment. Then you will be directed to download page. The most recent average pi version right now is 7.1.1. If you are interested in release note, you can click here. For Windows users, you can go to this is uh, Python 2.7, Anaconda 3.6, and Actually, in this demo, you should use average Pi, Python 3.7, 64-bit. This is the zip file. You can save it anywhere in your local disk. In this demo, I just put it into my desktop. Click Save. Download finished. So we can close this one, close this one, and go to the desktop. The package is here. And you can right click, click Extract All, which is to unzip the iBridge Pi package. And I just unzip, actually, you can unzip the file anywhere in your local disk. In this demo, I will unzip it to the desktop. Just click Extract. Yeah. And the unzipped folder is right there. The next step is Open Spider from Anaconda Navigator. Spider is a integrated development environment. We call it IDE, so that you can user can easily code in Spider and execute that. After you install Anaconda, you can go to Start Anaconda 3 64 bit, and you can actually you can if there is spider there, you can open it directly. Otherwise, you can click Anaconda Navigator. So Anaconda is starting up. Anaconda Navigator is starting up, actually. It may take a little bit longer. Yeah, this is the Anaconda Navigator. My goal is to open Spider. So what I want to do is launch Spider. Yeah, spider is up. I will close what I have. Actually, when you open spider first time, the location of this windows may not look like this. If you want to arrange it, you can go to view and go to panels. Check Editor, check IPython console, uncheck others. This window is called Editor, and this window called IPython console. I like to put Editor on the left hand side and put IPython console in the right hand side so that I can code in Editor and run it and see the result in IPython console. Then the next step is to open runme.py in spider ID. You can click File, Open, 
The other way is click this symbol there. Because I unzipped iBridgePy to desktop, so click desktop. And this is the iBridgePy folder, click it. And there is a file called runme.py. Check this one and click open. And this is the entrance of iBridgePy. If you want to run this strategy, example show positions, you can just leave it as it and comment out, use hash sign in front of the lines, which you don't want like this way, but uncommon this line, which means you want to run this strategy. This is a Python file locate at the iBridgePy folder. And inside the folder, there's another folder called strategies. And example show positions.py is right there. If you want to take a look, you can open it in Spider and it show up here. You can follow the other tutorial video to set up IBTWS or IB Gateway. I have started IB Gateway already, so at this moment, I can just switch to runme.py and click this green triangle, which is run file, which means I want to run this runme.py. When I click it, the result will show up on the right hand side. Oh, what I forgot to do is I need to change the account code to my real account code. I will talk about how to find out the real account code in another tutorial. Thank you very much. For any questions, please feel free to send an email to ibridgepy at gmail.com. If you need help on coding, please check out our well-known Rent a Coder service. More videos are coming, so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel of ibridgepy. IBridgePy is an easy-to-use Python platform to backtest and live trade. Thank you.